praise the Lord. Loud and obnoxious, L-O. But the deep thing about L-O, it means an interesting or an amazing event. So when someone is loud, think about what's associated with loud. The Bible says, lo and behold. Saying this is interesting and this is amazing. But as human beings, when we hear the word loud, you don't hear loud and sweet. You don't hear loud and kind. <laughs> you don't hear loud and educated. It's loud and obnoxious. Now, if you don't want to be with someone that's loud and obnoxious that's young, I know you don't want to be with someone who's loud and obnoxious that's your age or older. And I'm making a point as I leave this alone. Loud and obnoxious. Look up the word L O, low. It means interesting and amazing event. So when you loud and obnoxious, you're not interesting. You're not amazing, but it's 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 low means a interesting and amazing event that that draws attention to itself. That's what the definition is. It's an interesting, it's a, it's an interesting and amazing event that draws one's attention. Low and behold. Pay attention. Look at this. It would behoove you. But when you loud and obnoxious, you're not interesting. You're not amazing. You 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 passing yourself off as a damn fool. What's the old adage? I'd rather be counted a fool than to open my mouth and to remove all doubt. And a lot of people are loud and obnoxious, but they got pretty words like what would they say? Oh, the Lord know my heart. You knew I was like this when you met me. Watch this true story, a gory story. When I was married, I had a low, a loud and obnoxious person. And I'm not calling her out, I'm just telling the truth. Because if I was loud and obnoxious, I want you to call me out and tell the truth on me because the behavior needs to change. And I would speak to her about her being loud and obnoxious in public, loud and obnoxious in worship service, loud and obnoxious in restaurants, loud and obnoxious in big box stores. I mean, loud, low. You're drawing attention to yourself, but you're drawing a person's ire. You're embarrassing yourself, the family. You're embarrassing the bloodline. You're embarrassing the marriage. You're embarrassing the children, the husband, the wife. So when you loud and obnoxious, you're drawing attention to yourself for all the wrong reasons. And then to make excuses for said husband, said wife, said boyfriend, said girlfriend, said baby mama, said baby daddy. To make excuses for someone else's horrible behavior as I leave this alone. But to be loud and obnoxious. I'm not, I'm not loud and obnoxious. And birds with feather flock together. And a lot of people bust up, break up because that man or that woman is loud and obnoxious. All the marriage, all their life. All the teenage years, into college, out of college, you loud and obnoxious, and then you start having your spouses believe your mess. Oh, he, he just, he just that way. He just honoring. Oh man, I met when I met her, she was like that. Okay, when I met a seed, it was a seed, and it was planted and became a beautiful a flower or a tree. As I leave this alone, so that's why you by yourself because you loud and obnoxious that's why that man or woman don't want you haven't touched you in years because you loud and obnoxious this just in this is just the truth hello low and behold low means to something that draws your attention that's amazing or interesting so it's not interesting to be loud and obnoxious you never heard anybody say oh he loud and smart or she loud and intelligent or he loud and good looking or she, or she loud and sweet no no, low. Hmm. Y'all need to Google that word, man. And when you loud and obnoxious, add a W. You low. You're going to be low life, low minded. I don't care how intelligent you are, how smart. I don't care about your degree of education. I don't care if you got a GED, a high school diploma, an associate's, a bachelor's, a master's, uh, uh, I don't care, a PhD. I don't care what you got. I don't care what you got. When you loud and obnoxious, all that education, all that pretty, all that handsome, goes in the dumpster of life because you loud and obnoxious low pay attention to your own behavior if you don't want someone young that's loud and obnoxious i know you don't want someone in their 40s 50s 60s 70s and so many people have relegated and delegated themselves and attached themselves to low loud and obnoxious 
I pray you get free. I pray you break free. I did. And I'm going to leave with this. I will speak to her and speak to her and speak to her about conduct, actions, speech, overreactions, anger. Low. Hey, look out. I mean, hey, loud and obnoxious. Look at your own behavior. You knew I was like this when you met me. And I had to hit over the head one time, not physically, but with something real, real deep. Now, let's say I was punching you in your face and whooping you when I met you. And I never did and never have and never will. And, I, and let's say I was whooping you from day one until the day you said to me, Baby, stop punching me in my face. And I punch you in your face. Pow! And said to you, Lo, when you met me, I was like this. Message. Peace. And one.